Um, an amazing offer next with mm. E and O. Again, they had a great response at the show. And we're going to take you on board for under £600 on board the uh, Oceana here. Uh, this one is a big saving, doesn't it? £340. Yeah, huge saving. And actually, we should mention as well, we've got a really good price um, on a single as well for £939. So good. that's good too. And Gemma Pino, I mean... This is a company that have got decades and decades of experience. Very British yeah. company. Very British company, very trusted. As you say, they've been around for years. You know, they've got such a big following. Um, great food, great facilities, you know. And the thing is about Oshana as well, it's just had... Um, uh, will benefit from a £1 million facelift to its staterooms as well. Really? So it's had yeah, a bit of money spent on it. And you really will come away from a cruise on this particular ship feeling really revitalised. Um, actually, great spa as well. And, yeah, just really good food. You've got Marco Pierre White's Café Jardin on this um, ship Ooh, as well. Lovely. So that's quite nice. And he certainly wouldn't put his name to anything that wasn't very good quality. And, and, and I know when I've cruised with Pierre now, everything is, you know, it's very British. Everything's in the pound. Uh, yeah. the Entertainment is also geared towards the Brits in terms of yep. the comedians, the West End style shows. That's right, yeah, it's good fun. There the go. entertainment is absolutely cracking. Really, really fantastic. But you've also got, you know, four outdoor swimming pools, your jacuzzis, um, cinema, nightclub. There's so much I to mean, do. If you've never been on a cruise before, uh, and again, I met some people on Sunday that had still never cruised, um, you've got to try it. You will never be bored. No, absolutely not. Well, I think the, the, the kind of the main thing is that when people go on a cruise, they tend to go on another one and another one. You know, you can really realise how wonderful it is and think, I wish we'd done this earlier. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, I hope tonight, while the prices are so good, I just hope you give us a call. So, and even if you've just got queries, it is a free phone number. Anyway, we're all short of time. So, I know. here we go. From Southampton again. So, no worrying about planes or airports. Uh, we've got a few days at sea, haven't we? We have indeed. We are we are at sea for days two, three, and four, and then on day five we arrive in Casablanca. I just you know, it's just so famous, isn't it, because of the film, obviously as well. But and, here and, we are in Morocco. And I'm just thinking, what a great place to go in November when it's all cold everywhere. Oh, completely. Like you said, I mean, actually, joking aside, it does get a bit dark and gloomy here, doesn't it? So how wonderful to have this to look forward to. Um, loads of landmarks to go and have a look at in Casablanca. For instance, the Hassan II Mosque. That's um, absolutely amazing, and there is a picture of it right there. It's the largest mosque in Morocco and Africa, and the seventh largest in the world. And it's really famous for that minaret, that huge um, uh, tower. And it's actually topped by a laser, so at night the light is directed towards Mecca. So that's quite interesting. Um, and then in the same area as the mosque, you've got La Corniche, which is a really popular sort of beachfront, which has got loads of restaurants and beaches and pools and things like that. You can also go to the square of Muhammad uh, V. So that's interesting. A lot of the locals go there in the day. There's a big fountain in the middle and you've got the downtown district nearby as well where, of course, you've got the famous souks, so the bazaar. So quite hectic, but you've got to go have a haggle um, and you can buy traditional clothing and jewellery and antiques and all sorts of other things that you can drag back to the ship <laughs> um, and get some really interesting, authentic stuff. Um, Lots of um, uh, other interesting, authentic experiences in the old district. You'll see so many sites. Go to the Casbah as well. You've got ancient walls all around the city, so you can walk through them. It's really fascinating and incredible food as well. Then, day six, we're in Agadir, which is also in Morocco. And here you've got um, the seafront promenade, really nice big sandy beaches. Um, when I say big sandy beaches, they're vast. Absolutely massive, There's so much space. And sometimes oh, it, amazing, it is amazing. Sometimes you can get slightly sort of harassed by people selling things on the beach, but here they're really not too persistent at all. So you can have a nice peaceful day there. And if you want to go up and see some ruins, you can get a taxi up there. Otherwise, it's a bit of a hike. Um, but lots of incredible views from there. You can play a round of golf in Agadir as well at the Golf du Soleil if you, if you so fancy. Day eight, we're in Cadiz in Spain, um, which is really known as sort of the gateway to Seville. So, I mean, that's stunning. You can go and have a day in Seville. Uh, there's the Royal Palace there to have a look at. There's a cathedral. Or you could go and have a look um, at one of the places where they make sherry. 
It's quite fun. Um, and then after that, we are at sea. And then day 11, we're in La Coruna, which is in Spain. And there's a lovely mixture here of old town and new town, but also great beaches as well. You've got like a lovely two mile stretch of coastline. Um, you've got a beautiful square in the middle of the old town called Maria Pitta Square. Loads of shops and bars and restaurants. And you know, the thing is about Spain, you know what it's like, gorgeous food. Just go and sit and have a beer and relax. It's beautiful. There's also an aquarium and a planetarium if you fancy doing that. And then we're at sea, day 12, and then day 13 we arrive back in Southampton. Yeah. I should mention you do get a little stop at Lisbon though as well, don't you? Oh, you yes. do, you do. I'm so sorry, we're battling through. And we talked about Lisbon yes, earlier did. on, didn't we, at the top of the show, but you do get a whole day in Lisbon yes. as well. Um, now, just to remind you, this is a beautiful ship. You're going to weigh 12 pounds. Uh, we should point out, I don't want to rush into it, but it is limited availability on this one. Uh, we are having it busy for this one. Remember, tonight we will save you £340. I think with there only being one date available, the 7th of November, you can imagine, big demand for this mm. one. Um, and you can get some great temperatures, as you can imagine, at this time of year. And um, just to remind you, of course, as well, uh, you can also stay at the Mian Valley Marriott, beautiful hotel, only £70 per person per night. And that does include parking and port transfers as well. You know, the, um, the Marriott give us really good deals for Planet Cruise customers. Uh, also, if you do live in the north, you could even fly to Southampton as well. And as I mentioned, big demand on this one because you are getting a massive saving of £340 off the brochure price. Works out under £50 per person per night, which is incredible. And then finally, don't forget, you can also book excursions directly through Planet Cruise and save up to 60% on the price you do pay on board.